In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use Jing. Jing is my favorite screen capture, screen recording software, largely because it's free. If you want to get a copy of Jing, it works on both uh, Mac and PC, and it's produced by TechSmith. And it's free screenshot and screencast software. It has overview videos to show you how to use it. You can download the free download, but it's great software. You can see that I have a link to it here on my taskbar. I'm going to launch it. And when it's running, it's going to appear up at the top of my screen. And this is one of the reasons I like it. It's always available to me. Then if I wanted to take an image of part of the screen, I could highlight it. I could choose capture image, give it a name, and I could even put in arrows, that's what was selected, text, draw a box around something, or highlight something before I save it. And that would allow me to then save that image or copy it if I want to copy it and paste it into Word. Or I can hit cancel, which is what I'm going to do now. The other way that I like to use Jing is you can create a quick video. And so I can do a video of a screen. And so we're going to grab this area. And I'm going to choose capture video. And this will allow me to capture video. And the way I use this is to help people with their programming problems. So for example, I'm teaching a web scripting class and you can see I'm all set up to go through and view my code here. I've got all sorts of tools to help me with that. But I can pick an assignment, view the page source, and then I can point and talk to my students about what I'm looking at. Sometimes it's helpful where I can show them what they've done wrong. If they're missing a tag or something like that, I will look at their code and I will point it out to them to show them that there's something missing or something that they need to fix. Now notice you have a five minute time limit on Jing. If you need to record a video of more than five minutes, it's not the right program. You have options to mute, pause, restart, here I'm going to hit finish and then you can share it on screencast. Remember anything that you put on screencast, well hard to find, is basically available to the entire internet. So you should never put private student work that way. You can also save it. If you save it, it saves as a SWIFT file. It's the only option you have because it is free. And then to view it, most people on their computer, if they're using a browser, should be able to go in and actually the easiest way to do that is have them download it. Right click and choose open with Firefox. And so that's free software for them to open and view it and you can send it to them as an attachment through Canvas so that if you want to share something with your student or help them solve a problem you can do it for no cost for either you or for them and make it easy to share a video with them and sometimes having the ability to see and talk to your student through the screen with a screen capture is a remarkably great way to do things. You can also use this sort of screen capture if you just want to show them how to use a new tool. You can demonstrate quickly how to use software, how to do something in Word by doing a screencast, which is what this is. There are other tools available for screencasts. Um, this is the cheapest. This is another one that you can use, ink to go which is probably the second cheapest, if I remember correctly, it's about, it's $20. You can try it before you buy it. This is not bad. 
Um, the next level up from that would be Snagit from TechSmith. But my absolute favorite is Camtasia. Um, it's not the highest end one, but it's easy to use, it's friendly, and it works on both Mac and PC. So Jing, my favorite free screen capture software, high-end Camtasia is my favorite.